is a quick walkthrough of what I've just written. It took me about three hours or four hours to write this. It's basically a simple game engine. Um, first, I have here a main class, which um, in instantiates a game and passes it to the game engine, and then the engine starts a game loop, um, which is then responsible of um, starting a thread that will keep track of frames per second and uh, it does basically two things it tells the game to update its state and then to refresh the screen uh, so it delegates the calls to the game object um, game here is uh, just an interface that every game should uh, implement and the first one we've implemented is this one I'm calling called the mercenaries I have no other idea how to name it and um, so this one's creating the main window, and then I have to figure out how to how to paint the component when I want to, and, and not code this here inside a canvas instance. I'd like to have that happen here on the fresh screen. So what I'm doing just now is just calling repaint. Uh, so I'm not sure how it works, but when it's repainting, uh, what it does it it, it invokes this method called Draw rendering layers. Um, maybe that method should be part of the interface game, maybe not. I thought in this case this is how I want to make this game, so I didn't make that part of the interface. The drawing rendering layers basically goes through a list of layers um, and renders each. And these layers I call them abstract layer renderers. So let me explain uh, with the example of this game. So I first initiate my, my layer renders and let's show you here how I initialize them. So I have three renders here. I have a background render, a stage render, and a player render. A background render is supposed to draw the background of the game. Uh, in this case it's going to be an isometric game so it was quite tricky drawing this stuff. Render a utility, and I find it more utilities related to rendering here. I also have image utils to load images. Um, so basically, I initialize my renders and I put them on a list, and that list is iterated every time we we're drawing layers. And so the first one you put is going to be the background, and so on and so on. So the background is going to be the background stage render. I think that's where I'm going to put like walls and obstacles and things like that. And then player renders is the one that's going to render players. Maybe I'm going to have like enemy and so on and so on, and, and guns and effects. And I I think it's nice to separate the the, the rendering logic like that. Um, so uh, let's show you the back the let's say the player renders uh, fun one. Uh, basically, this one loads an image that looks like this. Uh, so this has 16 images, first the character animated going down, then to the left, to the right, and to the top. And I have, just to make this really fast, um, I've, uh, I have not created a sprite class yet, but basically what, it, what I've seen it, it is, at the, up to this point, uh, a dummy one is just a, a list of images. So um, I load this image, I get the height and the width, and I you know, divide that by four and then I iterate and I copy those those sub images in, in off screen buffers and I add those to the list of arrays which are down left right and left. And then when it's time to render this guys, uh, everything will be loaded in. I'm just making several instances of these images and moving moving them from left to right, up down and whatnot. Uh, so I can test how they look animated and going in the different directions and uh, let me show you how it is all put together and there you go we got little Indiana Jones moving all around seriously. there's like some weird lag sometimes um, I have to fix the, the main thread so that it will not be rendering a hundred thousand times per second uh, so we only need 60, 60 frames per second uh, uh, those are things I'm going to be learning as I go so basically you can code your game um, 
I mean, all the, the rendering stuff, Java pretty much has a lot of it. Uh, it's just, if you know the API, it's going to be easy making your own engine. Um, but it's just something I wanted to do instead of going around and learning somebody else's engine. I think I have it pretty clear with Java. Alright, that's it. Uh, let's see what I get to do in the next day.